So the Jet Beast is a new vehicle to the game and today I will guide you to all of its upgradable unlocks. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, if you have any questions about the game and you'd like to ask me about any of them, join my Discord linked within the video description with dedicated trading sections for all platforms the game is played on and much much more in association with Borderland 3. Again, links within the video description. So the Jet Beast has a few decent unlocks I think you might want, so today I will guide you to every single one. Timestamps for every part you will find in the video description and linked at the top of the comment section too, if you're only missing a few things. So let's get into it people and we will start with weapons. So there are two unlockable weapons, the first one to cover is the Mortar Launcher. This weapon I absolutely love for sure and the distance you can reach on this thing is unreal. Now this Mortar is an exclusive reward from a side mission called Money Back Guarantee. Now the mission is upon the Blast Plains in which you can see on the screen now. The mission itself is quite a funny one so go do this thing people and get that Jet Beast weapon. Nah, you wouldn't be interested. Unless you want to get your hands on some real firepower. Are you in the market for a genuine rarefied... You know, at first I was shamefaced to be seen in my skimpy... So the second unlockable weapon is called a heavy cannon. This weapon is unlockable via you hijacking enemy jet beasts. On screen now you can see where I found a vehicle in which it had this weapon on it. Now it can be completely random, but for me, this is a very popular place for this specific weapon. Okay, so we're going to move on to skins. Now besides the default skin, there are five in total to unlock. The first one we will take a look at is Beefy. So this skin Beefy is unlocked via completing a side mission called Sordu Valley, which is located within the Blast Plains. As you can see on the screen now, complete this mission rewards you this Beefy skin. Free to fight all my scaly darlings. I got me some more work needs doing. See, one of my flock went and. With all them chores done, it was about time for a hard earned paycheck. Next up, we have the Devil Rider. This is tied to a mission called the Dandy and Damsel, and this mission can be found within Blood Sun Canyon, which you'll see on screen now. So, complete this mission, people, to get the Devil Rider skin. I must set about the burial arrangements. I'm thinking lavender. Maybe it'd be better that he never knew. So the next three skins of Company Car, Reptile and Woody are all unlocked via you hijacking random jet beasts from enemies. On screen now you can see the locations of where I found the jet beasts which unlocked these skins.
Okay, so next up we have armor. Now the only armor you can unlock is heavy cases. And this is also found on random jet beasts and you can find it via the location on screen now. Within this area, these are quite popular. Okay, so next up we have heads. So first up we have the Lucavore Blood Hauler. And this is unlocked via completing a side mission called Devil Rustlers, which is found upon the brass planes as you can see on screen now. My name's Margo. I run the ranch down the way and I need some help. God dang Devil Rustlers. How'd it go? Oh, we had a nice chat and uh, and uh <laughs> The second head is called the Hellion Quickmore. This is a head you get at random for hijacking an enemy jet beast. I got my way you can see on screen now within this area. And finally guys, we have mods and there will only be one available and it's called the Thrust Turbine. And this is another random item you can find on those enemy jet beasts, which you have to hijack. Mine was found on an enemy jet beast in the area you can see on screen now. And that's it guys, all spots and means of earning all of the vehicle upgrades and I hope this helps you out. And on that note we have come to the end, if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.